Alright, hey everyone, Kat Jeffrey here. So, I know a lot of you on here have been watching Shane Dawson's video with Graveyard Girl Bunny. And so I just finally got done finishing his last video with her. And just, I'm like tearing up um, and all this. And so, wow. <laughs> pretty bad right now. But this video really inspired me. He did so much for Bunny and I'm so proud. And especially helping her get her views back. I am really happy for her. And it, it's funny, after watching these past videos and watching a little bit of her videos as well, <laughs> I've kind of seen a little bit of me and her, especially with liking cemeteries and not liking funerals and uh, it, it's interesting and I will get into that deeper later on but I want to say to Shane if you, or you are ever watching this you're amazing you I've been probably watching some of your videos now for about a month um, and it, they, <laughs> they're funny, but this one has been an inspiration to us all YouTubers. I've been a YouTuber for probably since last summer, and it's, it's, it's been a, a wild ride for me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for showing Bunny and showing all of us as YouTubers that sometimes we do need to evolve and to be able to make better contact and just be able to help our viewers um, but also I, I just yesterday I watched the second to last video and it really hit home to me because I actually haven't been doing videos like I used to because of my depression and my anxiety and so, uh, just watching these videos helped me be more me. Because I used to, I, I filmed a lot of unboxing videos, makeup tutorials, just a little bit of makeup tutorials, and some other things. But I just haven't really been inspired lately because I feel like my content is just not good enough. Like I've been I've been a YouTube well I've had YouTube since a YouTube account for probably about eight years now. And I only used it sometimes for music to look up my anime videos, just certain things and sometimes I would watch YouTubers and their vlog channels and just crazy things but then last year I kinda got inspired to be me again and by some of my YouTuber, the YouTubers I follow like Rylan and Kelly Eden and Dre like when I was a kid I loved Barbie dolls I loved them immensely, I loved Disney, but as I got into my teens, people judged me, I was very closed off to people, I instead of being the outgoing kid that I used to be, by talking to everybody and just have, being me, I kind of just went into myself and I didn't want to be that kid again because of being bullied and just being me it was hard and so the most the only people i hung out with were the goths the emos the gays which in my school we called the miscellaneous kids cuz you had our school was such a big clique and it was it was pretty harsh and so that that was something and then uh, once I started watching Kelly and Dre I discovered them 
in January of uh, 2017, and because I was, how I found them was I was looking at Sailor Moon, and of course Kelly Eden has a few Sailor Moon sketches, and I found her, and I was like, wow, I love these, and I was like, hey, let me go look at more of her content, and so I watched her videos, and I just, I felt okay. I felt like, hey, Kelly does all this. And then Dre, I, w I found Dre because that was her roommate at the time. Now Dre is gone. and But I still watch Dre as much as I can. And just every time she uploads. And I love it. And I was like, it's okay to be yourself. And of course... There's a, there's a lot of things that I haven't shared on here because I, I guess I'm scared of what people really think of me because I dress a certain way or I cut my hair a certain way um, because I'm trying to find myself. That's what I've been trying to do these past few years because... Alright, story time. <laughs> After I made a stupid mistake of dumping a boyfriend of mine, I felt like I wasn't me. That I lost something that was made me who I am. I felt like I had life planned out. I felt like Everything was good until those teenage years. You think you got it all planned out, but you really don't. And you think you love somebody, and then they make you realize a lot. And I, I went through a lot of hard years, and that I was 16. I was only 16. And so I really never dated again, and that... I I lost myself, like, a piece of me was gone, and I felt like I couldn't go on. And I, I just didn't know what to do with myself, and I felt like I needed to find myself again now. And a lot of things have been showing me of who I used to be, and I was like, I want to be that person again. But... How do I get there? That was my question. How do I get back to being that person that I used to be? The outgoing kid who f befriended everybody and who wasn't scared to befriend somebody for and get bullied by it. And so that's been something that I've always been scared of. And... and so, Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> that's my dog. And so... I don't know. I've just been really scared to show who I am. As a kid, I... When, every time we passed a graveyard, I wanted to go there. One thing is, I hate funerals. I hate them with a passion. I didn't even like going to my brothers. My second oldest brother passed away from drunk driving and so and of course I had to play the piano at his funeral and I was sitting the piano because we had it in our church and so the piano was right there next to it and it just I didn't like it. And so I don't like funerals at all, I never have, never did as a kid, and I still don't. But I love graveyards, I don't know why. Um, like, every time we go on a tr on the, our trail that we have here in my town, we'd always stop by the, the cemetery. And of course, it's a Jewish, we have a Jewish cemetery, which is on the side of, uh, on top, near uh, a cliff that we have that goes off and then you see the trail underneath when you're stepping on standing on top of it. And so I would run up there. I would sit next to the 
tombstones. Uh, so, and of course, I would sing. I would, I love, I would, I would totally sing, which, which is weird. And so, but yeah, and I still love graveyards. Like, I, oh my goodness, I get so excited when I go. And I know y'all are probably like, she's weird. She's totally weird. Why am I watching her? But who cares? And so, and, oh my goodness, yeah. And see, I would love to see who was who, what they did, especially if it was a military. Like, see the infantry, the, what, uh, class he was, what rank, and just to see that, that was pretty cool. And then I would get excited if I went a few tombstones down, that there was a Freemason. Like, I was like, oh, I, that's a Freemason, so yeah. And, uh, of course, uh, the dates, see how old they were, how old they died, and their birthdays and death dates, and it just, that was me. That, that, that was me, and I still like that, which is probably creepy to some of you, but not to me. Um, I have had paranormal activity happen to me. Um, I don't really like to get into those kind of stories. Um, they... I just feel like they might happen again, which I don't like to talk about them. Um, yeah, I like to watch fake ghost stories and all that. That's, that's funny, scare the crap out of me, haha. But watching, I don't like horror movies. Um, I don't like clowns. Nope, I don't like clowns. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, some people now think that I am still a kid. People think because of the things that I like, because I like Disney, because I like anime, because I have now found a new group of people, the kawaii group and the gauze, they think, oh, she's, she's different, especially here in the South. It's not common at all. It is very rare to see somebody that is uh, either goth or kawaii. It's, um, if you walk into Walmart or to any store that's down here in the south, in South Alabama, it's they're going to stare at you. And it's sometimes it's very... I don't know how to explain it. It's just very uncomfortable for people to see that. Especially when I got my hair cut, I, I, I basically shaved it completely almost off. But I had like a small pixie cut. That was it. But I still had people look at me like, okay. And so, and especially being from South Alabama, you don't see the people that you see in LA down here. If somebody comes down here with Gucci slides or uh, Louis Vuitton, it's not rare down here. Like, these people in the South are so high class that sometimes you find people down here that look at you like dirt or judge you because you have. Uh, tattoos or that you're dressed completely in black or you're dressed like you're so happy it's just people will judge down here and it's harsh because I don't like it I hate being judged I've been bullied since I can remember since I by my cousins by my classmates in high school and in school, like from kindergarten until I left high school, I was bullied. And it got pretty serious at a point where when I was, I think in my junior year, 
I was either... I, I fell ninth grade uh, once, and so I was held back, and so it was either in my tenth or I think it was my junior year. No, it was my tenth year. I remember it was tenth year, and I got to a point where my depression plummeted, and I just didn't feel good about myself. I didn't feel good around others. I wasn't happy like I used to, and just to tell you, it got pretty serious to where I wanted to commit suicide. That's how bad it got. And it was before my breakup with my ex-boyfriend, and like, I didn't want to tell him that, I didn't, I didn't want him to worry about me, that was the thing, and then at my people found out, and I was sent to my high school counselor, and my mom was called, and everybody was just drilling me, like, asking me questions like, how were you going to do it, and all that, and I was like, I, I felt like really put off like I was like you don't ask people that you don't sit across the table and be like so do you know how you're gonna do it and like all that and I'm like mm. excuse me and uh, it, it just I was I felt dead inside at that time like nothing was going right uh... me and my boyfriend were up and down in our relationship and of course i didn't have good communication skills i didn't want to talk to anybody about my problems and so i didn't want people to see that I was going through a hard time because ever since I was a kid I smiled, I was happy and as much as I got older I kept putting my feelings inside me like I didn't want to share them with anybody uh, yeah I told my mom I was being bullied a lot and things would come up and it was it was hard um, oh my goodness, and so, I, I have trust issues with certain, with people, like, if I, 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 I it's just interesting, like, I, I want to be able to trust certain people, but it's just really hard, and of course, I want to find somebody like I am like I love roman romance like oh my goodness Disney Cinderella Belle Rapunzel all of them like these they they make me happy and so that's why I have all these like when you see I have two versions of Belle and Cinderella like those were my number two princesses that I loved. Cinderella being, having courage and kindness. And I wanted to be like that. And of course, with Belle, her bravery, that's what I wanted. And so that's why I wanted to collect them when they came out in live action. I was like, I want to collect them. I want to I want to be them, I guess you could say. Um, and then, well, finding Ryland, I, I found him a f probably a week after I found Kelly and Dre. And I watched his videos and all of this, I, and all of them, and I was like, that used to be me. I used to be a huge Disney fan when I was a kid, like, never missed a movie, made sure I watched them all. I never collected until now, until last year. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry guys. I am so sorry. I, I, I've never cried 
on here. I don't really cry in front of people either. Unless I can't control it. And so, like, it's, it, it's pretty rough when people think you're still a kid and you're not, they're like, you're not acting like an adult. How's an adult supposed to act, like, stern and, uh, control their feelings and all that? I'm going to tell you, no adult has control over their feelings unless they're hard-hearted and they don't care about others, that, and they only care about themselves. That's what I think. And so, also, with this one right here, Sailor Moon, ever since I was five, like, that was my number one show as a kid, was always watch, I always watched Sailor Moon. I always marveled at her, because she's the, she was the lead, yet she was a crybaby, but she fought for others, and that's, I always felt like I was her, that she befriended everybody, that she never let go of others. And that she was there. That's what I wanted to be. I, these are my role models. And so, it's just, it's, I, everybody has a different way of dealing with their problems and but sometimes you need help to get them out and like I said just watching Shane Dawson help Bunny that's that inspired me so much because the past few weeks I have had depression really bad and I just felt like, I couldn't do anything, really, except for go to work and then come home and just watch YouTube videos and just lay in my bed. And, and so, if you could tell, I haven't really posted probably once a month now, since February, that I just haven't been in the mood because I always felt like my content wasn't good enough, that I wasn't good enough for the YouTube community. And it, I just was like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to sit back and I'll probably just do a, one video a month. And that's how I felt. And so, but after, then I s saw Shane and he was going to Texas and he's like, hey, I got all these videos lined up, like, be ready. <laughs> And so, just seeing these and just seeing another YouTuber and being able to follow them and just watch their content, and <laughs> it, it, she's, Bunny's pretty cool. She is pretty cool. And I feel like, just there's like a little connection between me and her, and just like, hey, we have something in common. But of course, I, I really don't know her. I just know her from her videos, and that's it. And I have been talking for way too long. And uh, so, yeah. This is uh, something that's really helped me. And to actually get a lot of this off of my chest. Like, I don't want anybody to feel unhappy for me. I I just want people to understand that there's certain things that YouTubers like I like I know I haven't been a YouTuber long, but it's kinda hard because you see all these different YouTubers, you got the musicians, the sing the artists you got different kinds of content that thousands of people, over millions of people watch. And it's hard to constantly come up with something next that would please the viewers or to be able to help the viewers. And 
Shane, you are the Ellen of YouTube. Let's just put it that way. After all the videos I've seen, you are the Ellen of YouTube. <laughs> and Ellen should dub you that. Like, that would be cool. And so, but yeah. This is... I think us YouTubers are now starting to see that it might be okay to be us on our channels cuz I know for me I've like certain things I've tried to hide from my channel like trying to be the happy girl that I am and the most kawaii like I know I'm not that kawaii <laughs> uh, but just to be able to do stuff to help the viewers to make the viewers laugh like to show a new side of us to show people our sides like like it's I know it's gonna be pretty hard especially for me cause like I'm not much of a vlogger I like to do unboxing videos and it's I think I might do more sit down vlogs. I might do a cat cam. Like, hey, it's my time to talk. Uh, but yeah, and like, I've tr I'm trying to figure out what I want to do on my channel. Like, I know I've gone through so many different things doing DIY. Like, I did one DIY. Um, I've done makeup tutorials, unboxing makeup, unboxing dolls, doing doll collecting, and uh, uh, trying to get a video done that I when I repainted my room. But yeah, and just showing people who I am and what I'm like, and it's it's going to be awesome and I am looking at the time right now and I, it's 27 minutes into this and I, I just need to shut up and just let everything be and just be happy and just look to the future but most importantly look into the present still because it is the present and I'm always worried about the future that's it's just how I always been but I hope I haven't talked to anybody's ears off and probably I hope I didn't say anything that would um, trigger anybody like I don't want that I just want people to understand things about me like I have depression it is a family thing. I, my biological mother has it and my two biological sisters. Like I found that out by just talking to her and yeah, I'm adopted. I am adopted. And you know, who cares? Like I I'm glad and I love it that I am because it shows a different side of who I am. And Hopefully, when I find somebody and I get married, I would love to adopt. That's because that's paying it forward for me. Like, that's for me. But I know I have talked too much. But I am glad. And well, I will see y'all another day, another time. And I'm just going to upload this video from now, and I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to post it. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. I truly love you all, and I, am, I can't wait to do more content and to better my channel. So thanks to Shane for helping Bunny and just being the Ellen of YouTube guys like really and so oh my goodness 
Wow. I think I spilled my life out. <laughs> but okay, but I will see y'all later. Bye. Mwah.